co-opting, it's much more similar to the Mexican brief idea, which we find to be perhaps very dangerous to the, to the increasing of the of Brazil. And they have a candidate who's very strong and is fighting with us for second place. No one knew it was coming. No one had any warning. An earthquake this big will hit Hawaii. If it happened today, would you be ready? The Big Island of Hawaii is one of the most beautiful places in the world. With sights ranging from snow-capped peaks to tropical rainforests. It's two spectacular beaches. The same forces that created this natural beauty can cause problems for modern society. Even though this is a wonderful place to live, you need to understand how to protect yourself and your family from these natural hazards. This program will teach you about earthquakes and eruptions, what they are and how to prepare for them so that we can all protect our homes and our families. You, the residents of Hawaii, have got to realize that civil defense resources are very limited, and even if we had all the resources available, many of these events, such as earthquakes, will happen without any warnings. Uh, for the first 24, 36 hours, and sometimes even more, especially a major event like a hurricane where resources will be spread very thin, people have got to care for themselves. Got to realize that as best as possible, we will try to respond, but for supplies, especially of food, clothing, sheltering, uh, for the first 24 hours, if you expect no help at all, that would be the best way to prepare yourself. Every year, there are thousands of small earthquakes on the Big Island. Some are strong enough to be felt, and a few cause minor or moderate damage. In a way, all earthquakes on the Big Island are related to volcanic processes. There are two main families of earthquakes that occur here. First, when magma moves within the volcano's underground, this process is often accompanied by many small volcanic earthquakes, or vibrations known as volcanic tremor. Second, and more importantly because these include the larger, potentially damaging events, tectonic earthquakes occur in Hawaii because the island is continually growing and the volcanic flanks are continually spreading. Above ground, the island grows as lava piles up on the surface. Underground, the island grows and spreads by the intrusion of magma into many cracks within the volcanic edifice. The forces related to these processes are constantly changing. Occasionally, the interactions of these forces generate sudden movements within zones of weakness or faults. At times, this can result in very large earthquakes. Two of the Earth's largest historic earthquakes have occurred on the island of Hawaii in 1868 and in 1975. What kinds of damage did these quakes cause? In 1868, a series of large earthquakes beneath Kau culminated in a quake estimated at magnitude 8. Damage extended across the island, and 79 people were killed, some from the associated mud flow and tsunami. In 1975, an earthquake under Kalapana had a magnitude of 7.2. The coast subsided 11 feet, resulting in a tsunami that took the lives of two campers in Hawaii Volcanoes National Park. At 10 o'clock at night, the first uh, earthquake uh, occurred, and uh, it was a, a pretty strong earthquake, a long rolling type of earthquake, uh, not the short, uh, quick jolt type. About four hours later, a uh, second earthquake occurred that was worse than the first one, but basically the same type of earthquake, and it was uh, so strong that uh, it was difficult, if not impossible, to uh, stand up. And remember, it's not a question of if, but when another large earthquake will occur again. Earthquakes of magnitude 6 occur much more frequently than the big ones. 
and depending on the type of earthquake and its location, some of these may cause tremendous damage. These are the type of earthquakes that we need to protect ourselves against because they can cause damage to your house, to its contents, and to your family. There is nothing you can do to stop an earthquake from happening. There is no way to tell in advance when one will strike. However, you can do certain things now so that you will always be prepared for a big earthquake. In a large earthquake, no matter how strong your house is, the earthquake waves are going to travel up through the house and shake things around inside your home. I will never forget the 1983 earthquake on the island of Hawaii. It happened early in the morning when you're sleepy. I never expected to be in an earthquake. You just read about it happening to other people. We, for a while, you couldn't even get out of the bed. It was tipped to the side so much. Finally, we tried to get out of the house, but cupboard doors and drawers had gone open, and books and glasses and dishes and plates were lying all over the place. We cut our feet trying to get to the door to get out. I have two other friends who were even more scared. One of them went out to take her morning walk. She got a Kleenex out of the car, got as far as the street, the earthquake knocked her down. She turned around and saw the upstairs of her house collapse on top of the car where she had been standing. By spending a little time this weekend preparing for an earthquake, you can prevent a lot of damage and injury later. Make sure nothing heavy could fall on your family or pets. That bully mole gonna fall down and smash your cat. We don't have a cat. Makes no difference. Look at that shelf. Nice, yeah? We just got there, the Salvation Army. Oh. Oh. Bolting your bookshelves to the wall is easy. You take L-shaped brackets, attach one end to the bookshelf and another end to a stud in the wall. This will prevent the shelf from falling over in an earthquake. You can secure breakable display items like china by placing some kind of adhesive underneath them. To keep dishes from sliding off the shelf, you can build a lip. A simple child-proof latch on cabinet doors will prevent the contents from being thrown out. If you have a gas water heater, you should brace it up so it can't fall over in an earthquake. If it falls, the gas line could rupture, which would expose all the gas to the pilot light, resulting in an explosion and fire. In an earthquake, ruptured gas lines are the biggest cause of fire. All you need to brace up a gas water heater are these simple materials, some screws, some bolts, and some plumber's metal tape. I don't want to do this. Uh, just help me out here now. I don't like this. All right, that should do it. Uh, it's looking good. Uh, maybe I should tighten it a little. Yeah. I, I don't understand. This is called being prepared. When she comes, well, we'll be ready for her. Otherwise, all hell's gonna break loose. I, I just want to be on the safe side. You don't need to act this way. You're, uh, you're ashamed of me for being afraid. Is that it? Yeah. Uh, uh, you're right. I admit it. I'm afraid of Auntie Lita. But there's something called being prudent and expedient. Namely, acting like a mongoose when you have to. This is one of those times, okay? Oh, there you are. I've been walking around all over the place looking for you. Oh, good, good, good. Now, see, the water heater is not going to fall over and rupture the gas tank. <laughs> now, I want you to do the same thing with that propane cylinder over there, okay? Simple, huh? See, 20 minutes work, and your home is safe, and you are safe. What you staring at? Um, always be prepared, Auntie. That's good. That's exactly what you're supposed to tell me. 